few years back, when they switched from the ARE 3.1 to 4.0, they renamed a number of the exams and we moved around, kind of jiggered around a number of the uh, topics. Uh, this exam, Programming, Planning, and Practice, used to be called Pre-Design. They changed the name because they changed this, the focus a little bit to being beyond just what happens before uh, the start of a project, but to include the whole sort of decision-making process at the beginning of a project. So the PPP exam is really focused on all of those base decisions, all of that sort of starting point of thinking about how a project is going to flow forward. So what the original contracts are, what the site is like, what the process that the client is looking for, uh, all of those kinds of decision-making points, uh, not really about the final details that shows up in other exams, but those things that will sort of shape the base design, the program, and the, and the sort of site analysis issues. One of the things this means is that PPP actually has quite a bit of overlap with uh, construction documents and services exam and also with the site planning exam, both of which have pretty strong components of that early decision making aspects. Uh, there's also a fair amount of overlap with the building design, the materials and methods aspect of the exams. Uh, when you talk about soils and, and other sort of foundation issues, things like that. PPP is one of those sort of funny ones. It's kind of a catch-all and in many ways it's uh, an exam that makes sense to do either at the end or at the beginning because studying for this exam will uh, overlap with so many of the other exams that it's either a good way to sort of start off the process or it's a good way to uh, close out because you've already done so much of the studying. Uh, essentially anything that's about the beginning of a project, that sort of early stage decision making, uh, is fair game on this exam.